So, I was browsing the internet the other day when I saw this post from Lee Zavitz mentioning his new Lightroom presets. So, I dropped him an email and said, can I test your presets? So, I dropped Lee a DM and said, bro, these are some cool presets, let me try them. Okay, so let's get these questions out of the way first. Will this work on my dad's old laptop? Yes, they will. Will they work on a 13-year-old iMac? You bet. Will this work on a 12-year-old MacBook who has fallen down the stairs? Yes. What about an old iPhone 5 or 6 or 7? Yes. Will they work on toaster? Don't dare me. So, if you're thinking of upgrading to a better phone or camera, you may well consider giving this Fujifilm simulation presets a try instead. They're that good. Before we start with the before and after, I would like to mention that all of these photos being used to test the Classic Ports Film Look presets today are owned and supplied by Stephanie Christoph of PS Photography. She's a great portrait fashion magazine lifestyle photographer and if you're not following her already, go give her a follow. Before you even think about applying a preset, or any preset for that matter, you need to make sure your image is properly exposed. These are 8 presets that are inspired by the Fujifilm presets found on Fuji cameras. The first preset in the car and this looks this looks amazing. This is a raw file from a Canon 5D, 6D and every single preset looks good on this image. The first preset is based on Fuji Acros 2. Number 2 is the classic Chrome preset. Number 3 is Classic CN Preset number 4 is the Classic Chrome Number 5 is the Classic DS Number 6 is Classic NX1 Number 7 is NX2 Preset number 8 is the Classic W1 And this is your typical sun up high bursting photo or sun flares or golden hour kind of photo Preset number 5, Classic DS, means desaturated film look. Adjustments to image after applying this preset are highlights, bring down the highlights, and temperature, bring temperature slider toward the yellow to warm it up a bit. If your photo is a bit on the cooler tone side of things and you wish to introduce more warmth to the image, just move that temperature and tint slider to the left to introduce more yellow and gold into your photo. So, before you even think about applying a preset, or any preset for that matter, you need to make sure your image is properly exposed. And don't forget to check your white balance too. Move the tint hue temperature slider to see where it looks more realistic to your eye. For example, like the scene you remember it back when the photo was taken. Remember, no fancy preset you buy is going to be able to predict your exposure or white balance. Hence, these presets do not correct exposure or white balance because they can vary greatly from picture to picture. For the beginners out there, that can mean your highlights are not clipped and your shadows and blacks are not crushed. A good non-pro starting point to use is the auto button found on Lightroom CC on mobile, desktop and tablet. If you don't have Lightroom CC, you can download it freely on your mobile device. So, as you can see in the histogram, you can activate histogram here if you haven't already. So, as you can see from the histogram above, a good starting point is the auto button which usually tends to give out a more balanced, composed exposure. So, click the auto button, good. Also, look at the histogram to see the changes you've done. So, you can look at the histogram and easily spot the changes being made to your photo. You've done the auto exposure thing, good. If you're happy with the exposure and if lifting the shadows, lowering the highlights additionally doesn't further improve your photo, I think you're good to go. 
with hovering over the preset and finding the one that will suit your image best and if you don't know how to import presets into Lightroom ZC for that matter stick to the end of this video to see how it's done I will be doing a test install of the presets on a tablet or mobile or laptop here's a brief disclaimer by testing these film look presets, I don't claim to make these photos better than they came straight out of camera. They're just different. It's a different creative style, of course, and there is really no right or wrong way to edit your photos. It's just a vibe that you are trying to accomplish. Presets are fun, editing is fun and I love that photographers can share with us their presets and monetize their, their look. Although these presets were designed with the portrait photographer in mind, they do tend to work charmingly on landscapes, nature photos as well. If you're, new, if you're new to this channel, my name is Dimitar of Dimitar Daily and according to my YouTube analytics, a large portion of you are watching my videos unsubscribed. So if you're still watching and not already a subscriber, go ahead, click that subscribe button and while you're at it, hit the bell notification so you can join my notification squad here on YouTube. So with that out of the door, let's see what these presets can do. And if you are notice, I'm using these presets mainly on raw images, as raw images retain much more detail, dynamic range and color depth and information compared to, to their JPEG counterparts. Although there are some JPEGs I have thrown here today for good measure, just to show and see if they can technically work on JPEGs as well. Spoiler alert, they can. For this image, although it looks good right out of the box, I'm gonna try to bump up the exposure shadows a little bit. The first preset is based on Fuji Across 2. Number 2 is the Classic Home preset. Number 3 is Classic CN, which stands for Fuji Home Negative Classic. Preset number 4 is the Classic Home, which tends to give warm. W stands for warm, I guess number five is the classic DS of course DS stands for desaturated film look adjustments to image after applying this preset are highlights bring down the highlights and temperature bring temperature slider toward the yellow to warm it up a bit if your photo is a bit on the cooler tone side of things and you wish to introduce more warmth to the image just move that temperature and tint slider to the left to introduce more yellow and gold into your photo. Preset number 6 is classic NX1 which stands for vintage film look and it does something to the skin, introduces more greenish skin tones, again this preset tries to capture that vintage look. Preset number 7 is NX2 and as the name suggests it's a sequel to the previous preset and a punchier more vibrant version of the above NX1 preset vintage greenish tones mostly makes adjustments and alterations predominantly in the shadow areas preset number eight is the classic w1 and this is your typical sun up high bursting photo or sun flares or golden hour kind of photo by testing these film look presets, I don't claim to make these photos better than they came straight out of camera. They're just different. It's a different creative style, of course, and there is really no right or wrong way to edit your photos. It's just a vibe that you are trying to accomplish. As always, it's worth pointing out that these are not presets that will overpower, oversaturate, overblow or overexpose your image, like some other <coughs> photographer's presets I have tested so far. No frost photo, I'm looking at you. Pew, 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 pew. Although these presets were designed with the portrait photographer in mind, they do tend to work charmingly on landscapes, nature photos as well. Every single preset looks good on this image.
Again, presets are fun, editing is fun, and I love that photographers can share with us their presets and monetize their, their look. If you're new to this channel, my name is Dimitar of Dimitar Daily, and according to my YouTube analytics, a large portion of you are watching my videos unsubscribed. So if you're still watching and not already a subscriber, go ahead, click that subscribe button, and while you're at it, hit the bell notification so you can join my notification squad here on YouTube.